I think from day one, people felt that um, this was not in their best interest. Um, so some people fought. They are, they are, we have records of battles. They lost some, they won some. One of the important things to remember about Af the African continent is it is a vast continent. You can put the entire United States of America in the African continent and still have space. And this is a big place, right? So that gives you an idea of the vastness. So besides resistance, what happened in many instances is that people moved. So, you know, you, you, you colonial folks are coming, so you move to another space. That colonialism really is not just about extraction of raw materials and, uh, you know, creation of uh, insertion into a world economy, um, but it's also about creating a new set of people through creation of the native. And then one ways in which Africans resisted that was through religion. So things like Ethiopianism. Uh, therefore, and that meant the development, uh, the emergence, if you wish, of a set of uh, prophets and prophetess, both men and women, who really preached against colonialism. And then there was, um, you know, there was a usual thing once unions, once the trade unions were formed, of strikes. Um, there was, uh, there were battles that, the Kikui battle, in, you know, against the British, what became known as the Mamo Revolt. So there were many revolts, there was armed rebellion, um, there was religious, uh, the development of religious, um, different alternative religious systems.